also. This is Blaze the Movie Fan, and I could be reviewing Muppets Most Wanted, Need for Speed, or Divergent today. But I decided that instead of reviewing a movie that every other fucking movie reviewer on YouTube I'm subscribed to is reviewing, I would review something totally different. Don't worry, I will be getting into reviewing Need for Speed and Muppets Most Wanted eventually, since those two movies really pique my interests. Anyway, with that being said, let's talk about the movie Grand Piano. The reason why I'm aware of this movie is because Chris Duckman reviewed it. And he gave that movie a positive review, and I liked the concept, so I decided to check it out. And I wasn't disappointed at all. So I'm basically going to tell you what the concept of this movie is. A pianist has to play the right notes. If he fucking screws up, he will be killed by a sniper. That alone is very creative and a very fucking awesome concept. And it can make for a very entertaining movie. Which this one is. Now I'm going to start by talking about the main character of the movie, Tom Selznick, played by Elgia Wood. Now he is a pianist who plays a piano, and he is so fucking fantastic at playing pianos. If I knew this guy in real life, I wouldn't mind him playing some piano music for me. Yeah, he's that fucking good. And the fact that he's such a fucking fantastic pianist is exactly what makes him such an interesting character and the fact that the sniper was aiming his fucking gun at him really did make me scared and at the same time I was also very angry. The fact that he had to do the right notes or else he would be shot is also something that made this movie a lot more fucking exciting. Now I'm going to talk about the villain of the movie, the sniper. I will not mention the character's name nor will I mention the actor's name because in this movie it's supposed to be a mystery who is aiming the gun and I intend on keeping it that way. Now the guy who aims his gun at Poem is a very fucking nasty cunt. I was so fucking angry at the fact that he is the one who aimed a gun at the pianist. I wanted something bad to happen to him badly. And you know what? The fact that he is a villain that I fucking hate with a passion and for the right reasons is a villain that I would consider to be fucking awesome. And he is also very fucking insane. He thinks by aiming a gun and threatening the pianist that will somehow make him a better musician. Um, no, it doesn't fucking work like that. But really, the best thing about this villain is the fact that throughout the movie I felt like it was fucking impossible to stop him. Yeah, he is a real threat. And villains who are real threat are the best villains in my opinion. As for the other characters of the movie, well I didn't care about them much. Which is okay, as long as the protagonist and the villain of the movie are fucking awesome characters, that's all that really matters. And that's exactly what they are. The protagonist is a great pianist worth rooting for, and the villain of the movie is a real cunt worth hating for the right reasons. And since this is a fucking great thriller, I really enjoyed it, and for that I'm going to give this movie two thumbs up. Even though I fucking love this movie, I'm afraid it won't make it to my top 15 best movies of 2014 list. That particular list will include movies that were officially released in 2014. And since this is a Spanish movie and not an American movie, and therefore it was really released officially last year, that movie will unfortunately not make it to that list. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching and have a great day.